Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Now, I work in Loughborough, right? And Loughborough is one of like the centres of sport in the UK. And occasionally, I get a chance to run with, speak to some very good athletes. Now, today, I've been out for a run at lunchtime. Oh, car back, resuming a sec, hang on. Yeah, I've been out for a run at lunchtime. Sam, guess who I saw? And I nervously said hello to. Tom Evans. Yes. <laughs> and Sophie Evans. Oh, I'm so sorry, so we and don't fly for Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my colleague didn't know who they were, but yeah, it was really good to see some elite athletes. Anyway, uh, this is Sam Proctor. Hello. <laughs> that was my attempt at taking the mickey out of you. Oh. I'm going to end it there because I'm very grateful to Sam riding with me tonight. Sam, for those that don't know you, who are you and what do you do? Hello, I'm Sam Proctor. I'm a British long distance triathlete. Uh, currently, well, recently went sub eight at. Um, Ironman Hamburg European Championships. Um, well, so mate, 755, wasn't it? Yeah, and a bit of change. So awesome. I've now got the privilege of training with Dan. <laughs> yeah. Sam's free hub is obnoxiously loud, so he's just going to keep soft pedaling whilst dragging the brakes. That's good for my morale, though. Um, Sam, so. For those of you who might want to hear a bit more about Sam, Sam recently did a podcast with Simon Ward. Now, it is an hour and a half long, it's probably a couple of runs worth, but genuinely, it's a really good listen. There's no bells and whistles, there's no bull, as there is sometimes in the triathlon world. It's a really good discussion about a really good journey. So, you've been up and down the triathlon world, haven't you, in the last few years? Elite, not elite, elite again. So, just, just give us a brief overview of what's, what your journey's been like. Yeah, it's been uh, up and down, but probably not uh, not moaning. It's been my own decision. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but you you live and learn in this sport, and it's nice to have had that journey and really enjoying being back and getting to train with people like Dan day to day. So it's a really enjoyable journey. So if you if you have the time, please have a listen to the podcast. Yeah. Um, I promise there's not too much of Simon talking. Okay. <laughs> so uh, have a listen and chat to you soon. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, but for me, for my training for the rest of this year. You know, I go through patches of being really motivated and not being motivated and training with and seeing people like Tom and Sophie out running earlier, training with people like Sam just every now and again, genuinely keeps me really motivated. I remember in 2020 when COVID hit, Laura Siddle lived in the same village as me. Now I only trained with her twice because I was absolutely useless, but that was so motivating me, car back. So yeah, Sam, genuinely, thank you for taking the time to ride with me. What's next for you this year? I know you've got a race a little way away, but uh, yeah, next for me will probably be Ironman Florida in November, so a bit of a build up again really and see, uh, see if we can get some more fitness onto the back end of the year. Good stuff. Let's do some riding. Sam and I did do some training together earlier this year in the pool, didn't we, Sam? Oh, I, yeah. I was aqua jogging with a broken toe, don't know if I mentioned it. You break your toe. <laughs> and you're training with some of the best athletes in the world. Cat Matthews for one and yeah, yeah. Indy Lee. Nikki Barlow join you every now and again? No, she's swimming for the uh, squad still. Ah, uh, okay, right. She's good enough to swim in the squad if you want to. <laughs> oh, it's tough, isn't it? Brilliant. How do you find your training group in the Loughborough area? Really good. Such a nice place to train in. So, yeah. Like such a motivation being around such good athletes. Like yeah. I can sit on my sofa and watch like ten people run past. Yeah. So there's like no excuse not to go. Me at lunchtime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dan, yeah. yeah. Do you ever do any training with any of the students? No. We're very. Um, Is that because they don't get up to like lunchtime? Yeah. <laughs> they swim at like six o'clock in the morning. Oh. They're really unsocial, isn't it? You were saying that in your podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got no inclination, you got used to swimming at 11 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. No, which is when we were seeing each other, wasn't it? I was, yeah. on my, I was on my lunch break at work and Sam's just rolling out of bed, so. my first session. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good stuff. I'm in a rush to get to swimming, believe it or not. Sam, thank you very much for the ride. Very enjoyable. Nice good to see you. Man. Enjoy your swim. Same time tomorrow? Do a length for me. I will do, I will give you some length. <laughs> right. Um, all of Sam's links, down below, I say all of his links, he's pretty much on Strava and Instagram, uh, are down below in the description, so please do check him out. As I was saying, please do check him out, and we'll see you again very soon, Sam. Yeah.